Okay, this is Cozy, Cosette, and uh, she is going to be five years old tomorrow. She's my first Maltese. She's from an AKC breeder, and she's a lovely dog, and we are going to do, um, I'm going to not narrate as much and just do a quick trim up on her. Um, we just recently did a video with her and Tweety, and I had mentioned in the blog that I hadn't finished trimming her yet because... Um, for her, for Cosette, we had gone four years without touching these eye hairs. As you can see, she has one thread of stain here. And I, um, about a year ago, maybe about a year ago, I trimmed these hairs and uh, she started tearing really badly. So her entire muzzle was stained. And um, she's always held more of an American style, more like Dolce. We've always had her because she's all American. We've always had her in an American trim, but um, just recently I trimmed back her muzzle and I thought I would make her more Asian as she turns five years old. Uh, it's because her hair is so thin, you can see her skin. Because her hair is so thin, although it, it is very, very shiny and silky, it is um, rather uneven when I trim her, unless I do scissors. But one trick you can do is by using particular um, specific shampoos that will help make the hair stand up. So for her, for Cozy today, in order to prepare her for a clip, we have shampooed her with the Pure Paws Factor Zero, which is a clarifying shampoo, and that got rid of all the shampoos that were already in her. And then um, number two shampoo, we use the Amplify shampoo, and it's in the bathroom right now, so I can't show you. The Amplify line is what I used for the second shampoo, and um, I don't have the Amplify conditioner, but um, it's on its way, and I haven't tried that yet, but I did use the reconstructing uh, conditioner on her. And then after I um, gave her the shower, I sprayed some of this Amplify volumizing gel, and I sprayed it into my hand. So you just spray it into your hand, and rub your hands together, and I rubbed it all over her, spots that I wanted to thicken, a little bit on the muzzle, a little bit on the ears, mostly on her body because we want to make sure that the shafts of the hair are nice and thickened um, uh, in order to get a nice even cut for, for Asian cuts in particular and for Cozy in particular because Cozy really does not have a lot of hair. So by cutting her real thin, um, she can look kind of patchy unless her hair is bulked up. So um, I like using thickening and bulking and stiffening shampoos when I'm doing a clipper, um, when I'm actually going to be using the clipper. And so on other days I might use more of a light reflecting shampoo, but um, that's enough about shampoo. I'm going to set this on 40, which is the shortest setting. I'm going to use... Um, the number four, which is, if I could tell you, I think it's a quarter inch, yes, six millimeters, quarter inch, and then here we go. Good girl. Go 
straight down. Okay. Good girl, Goss. Good girl. I'm gonna pull it down here. Her legs I do a little higher than Co um, Dolce's. As you can see, I don't go down here. I um, taper it from a little bit higher, which is her shoulders. Turn around, good girl. And you can see the second time around, it does. And I do go faster than I do on Dolce because Cozy's coat is a lot thinner. Protect her. I'm going to protect the flap under her arm. Because he has, um, she has a thinner coat than Dolce, so with Dolce, I do have to go much faster. But um, with Cozy, because her coat, I just said that, right? Her coat's really thin. She doesn't have a lot of hair shafts. So I like to go through her coat a lot faster. Whereas with Dolce, if I went this fast, um, it would not come out as nice. Okay. So we'll start here in the front and I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna go backwards. Okay, you're okay. I'm gonna go backwards, and then I'll go forwards. I'm gonna go backwards just up the middle. It's okay, Coz. It's all right, babe. Good girl. Okay, I'm gonna go just past her Adam's apple and get this nice and even. I think I mentioned in other videos that I feel like the cut is a lot cleaner when you go reverse. So we've carved out just a little bit of um, right underneath her, and then we're going to come over and finish this part just to shape out her neck. Go behind the ears. I'm going to pull a little bit and get this piece here. Being careful not to get any of the ear here. Cozy, like I said, has never sported a Korean cut before, but um, the family's still getting used to it. They're so used to seeing her in more of an American bob head, bob haircut with um, the long chin like Dolce. And um, they look, every time someone looks at her, they go, who is that? That's Cosette. She's sporting her Korean uh, her Korean um, style. So I'm gonna protect her face so that she doesn't hurt herself. Pull the hair down here. Oh no, I don't want that. And I'm just gonna go in real close here. But it, and so you see, I'm using a shorter, this is a three millimeter. By going reverse, you get closer to the three millimeter, but it now to even out I don't want the lines here so I'm gonna pull to get rid of the differential in height between the two combs by pulling
So I'm running out the chin here, just getting the loose hairs, making sure her under the face is just as cute when she looks up, but she is when she's looking straight at you. And these hidden hairs underneath are what you want to clean up. So here we go, we just need to, I'm basically just cleaning up the loose hair so that it's settled. With the short muzzle like this in a um, uh, Korean cut, a lot of times you'll find that, um, the worry with me, with her, is that I don't really want these hairs poking her. Some people actually will go in from the side and they'll come up and they'll they'll shorten these. Um, and you can do that too, but I like to bring them forward like this. And you'll see the little edges here that stick out. So you just want to snip some of those off. With the, I have my finger over her mouth so that she doesn't get her tongue in the way. But you can come around and do a little bit of a curve. And what that does is it cleans up these little corners here. So you, it's kind of a trick you can do at home. And then once you get used to it, you can uh, kind of eye it and you can learn to kind of clean things up from the front view and not have to do the side view as much. So if you look at Cosette's nose, her nose hairs, we've done a Korean cut very um, different than uh, Tweety's in that we have not cut any of her nose hairs. We have left her nose hairs long. And the nice thing about this style is you don't always have to deal with the eyes the hairs that are short here that I had to cut for a Tweety, you don't have to deal with these ones growing into the eyes and poking them. But the problem is right now is we have taken her top knot very low down her nose, almost halfway down her nose. And um, until these hairs can grow out and dry out and stop staining, um, she's going to have this little bit of staining that's in her top knot. But, um, it's totally worth it because you don't really need, I'll never have to go in here and cut any of these hairs in between her eyes. And I just don't want to do that with her because she had a propensity for very, very severe staining. And some dogs do and some dogs don't. It really does depend um, on the dog's biological makeup and how their face is shaped. But for Cozy, I won't ever have to worry about cutting the hair around her eyes. So if you look at the shape of her muzzle, it's the shape of a U. It's not like Tweety's at all. Tweety's is more of an oval um, because she has short hairs on her nose. Cozy, Cosette, is more of a, um, of a U and uh, We'll see how she looks in this Korean style, but she's five tomorrow, and I think I'm just gonna... You can see here that this part's sticking out, so I'm gonna just trim it a little bit to even it up. The shape is already set, so I'm just kind of bringing this, the part in the back here. I'm gonna bring it back a little bit, just a stoach. Yep. And um, for some dogs you can use product, thickening product on the muzzle, like the Amplify um, the mousse would be used on a dog that didn't have a lot of muzzle hair. You would put the mousse on the table and put it on. For Cozy, because she has a very, very um, dense fur around just the muzzle. She's got very thin fur everywhere else. 
but around the muzzle she's quite dense and her hair is very thick and so I will not touch the hair there and that's just checking the seed, fanning it out and checking to see if it's even this part right here. These corners can be kind of weird too. You want to round everything out. And the, the corner of her lip here, I'm going to round it out. And do this side as well. And bring this in just a skosh. 